Hello and welcome back to the PHP 101 course. Uh, we are going to continue our discussion about object-oriented programming in this video and what we're going to talk about in this video is something called interfaces. So let's go ahead and scripts and let's create a new file and I'm just going to call this interfaces.php and let's go ahead and open up some PHP scripts and I'm going to go down a few lines and we'll close these off. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I was going to build a bunch of different types of buildings. And um, I know that I want all these different types of buildings to have uh, a function or a method that they can heat or cool the buildings. And I don't want to forget to ever do that. Well, one thing I can do is create an interface. An interface allows me to implement... Uh, the interface and then it forces me to have to implement uh, certain uh, methods uh, on the classes that implement it okay so let me show you what I mean let's say um, that I have a public class uh, I'm sorry let's create a class and we're gonna call this class um, uh, just building Okay, and I'm going to also create another class, and we'll call this house. And then I'll create another class, and I'm going to call this, um, let's see, I don't know, barn. Okay, so all of these are a type of structure, and I need to be able to heat all of these up. So what I can do is... Um, and usually in another file, what I would do is I would create an interface. So to create an interface, we simply just type uh, interface, and then we give it a name. So um, typically you start an interface with an I. So I'm just going to say I um, structure. Okay. So if you do that, then what you can do is inside that interface, I can just say, hey, this interface must have a public method and it has to be called heat okay and then you give it the open and close in parentheses but you don't give it an open and closing curly brace because you're not going to give it a body here at all so now if I go back and let's just go to uh, the interfaces file okay and let's go down and let's create a new barn. So what I want to do is um, we'll just say barn is, is equal to new barn. All right, so if I refresh that now, no problems. We don't have any errors and we're not really doing anything so this, the screen's blank. But let's say barn implements uh, I structure. And now I refresh, and now what happens is I get a, a fatal error. So let's read this. It says class barn contains one abstract uh, method and must therefore be declared abstract or implement the remaining methods from the uh, interface structure heat. Okay, so the problem now, the reason we're getting a fatal error is because this barn, it implements the structure that says, hey, if you're going to implement me you're promising that you're gonna have a uh, a public method called heat so let's go now and create public function heat and we don't need to make it do anything I'm just gonna leave it empty like that and we'll refresh and now we don't get any sort of problem but what happens if I set this to uh, protected hit refresh now I have a problem. This problem is that the access level to that method, even though it exists, is more restrictive than my, uh, my interface allows it to be. Okay, so the reason this doesn't work is because all of your functions that you're calling in an interface to say that it's going to be implement have to be public. So you can't change visibility at all on these. You can't set this to private or whatever. Um, these all by its very nature of being an interface according to the PHP.net um, manual 
uh, these have to be public. So if you're going to use an interface, you need to set these as public uh, methods, and then anything that implements them must have them. Okay, so now we've done this, but what if I put um, a uh, if I pass a parameter into this? Let's go ahead and refresh here. Um, so what it says here is that the declaration of the barn heat must be compatible with I structure heat temp. And it's saying it must be compatible because what I've done is in the interface, I'm saying, hey, this is going to have one parameter called temp here. So I must, when I, when I implement this in my barn, I must also make sure that I have the parameter there. So go ahead and refresh that. And now we don't have a problem. So what happens now if I go ahead and uh, implement I structure for the house, and I spelt that wrong, implements, and implements I structure for building. And then um, let's say we're trying to instantiate a house, so we'll say new house and we're going to say uh, a building equals new building okay again we're gonna have some errors so it's saying hey class building contains an abstract method must be declared so it's what this is is a promise what we're saying is anything that implements the I structure must include all of the public methods in this in this interface. So if I implement that interface, I must create a public function called heat, and it must have the parameter uh, to go with it. Okay. So if I go ahead and copy this and paste it in house, all of these now are compliant with the interface. They are all properly implementing. The interface. Now the reason this is important is because later I also realized man all of these structures also need a way to cool them down because they just get keep getting hot. So if I say public function uh, cool and we need to give it a temp if I now in my program I don't I don't I might not know where all these are but I but now because they've imp implemented this structure this is going to error out because I have not declared that new thing there. So I would have to go and find that um, and it'll tell me where it's at. But now I have to add another um, I have to add another method here called cool. Okay? And it has to implement it correctly. And then I will refresh and I'll be like, oh, now there's another problem. House also needs to. So that'll quickly allow me to go through my code now and make sure that these all have the methods that I'm promising that they're going to have. So now everything should be all good. So I hit refresh and you see we don't have any errors. So again, an interface allows us to build, well it's an interface, but, it, but what it is is saying, hey, anything that implements me must have these uh, methods as part of their uh, declaration. So um, as part of the blueprint, if you're going to build a structure, it must have a heat and a cool method uh, built into it. Otherwise, it can't implement structure. Okay, so that's what that means. Again, this might just be kind of foreign to you, and you may have not have seen this much, but I just want to touch on it here in, the, in a very brief uh, example of what this is in case you see this in code, and uh, you'll know that in interface... Uh, if you're trying to uh, implement that, you must have all of these methods. Alright guys, well I'll see you in the next uh, video and we're going to talk about abstraction.